What's up everybody, my name is Brian LaRue with Gumball Machine Warehouse and today I'm going to teach you how to build a double-headed Rhino Pro machine. Now before we get started, I would like to let everybody know that every single item on Gumball Machine Warehouse's YouTube channel can be found at gumball-machine.com and all of the links to every single item that I talk about within this video will be in both the description and the top of the comment section. But with that being said, let's get into the video. First things first, we're gonna start with our Rhino Monster Stand. Now we have made a couple videos about the Rhino Monster Stand. One is how we assemble the Rhino Monster Stand and the other one is how to attach a double-headed bracket to the Rhino Monster Stand. But to save us some time, I'm going to be showing a montage on how to put them together and then we will jump back into the video of how to attach the Rhino Pro to the double-headed bracket Rhino Monster Stand. Okay, so once we have the double-headed bracket onto the monster stand, we are going to take our Rhino Pros apart, which is super, super easy. We don't need to necessarily take them completely apart. I have a simple solution for you that will make everything a lot easier. First things first is we're going to unlock the top of the machine. You just line the key up into the hole of the lock and turn it counterclockwise until it comes out. Make sure that you're pushing down every time you turn, or it might be a little bit difficult to take off the lock, considering that the key has not met all of the gears that are with inside the lock. Once we have the key out, we are going to grab the body at the bottom and we are going to pull it completely up, only leaving the base of the machine. Once we do that, we are going to unlock the coin drawer. Once you unlock the coin drawer, we're going to slide it completely out, revealing the holes on the bottom of the base of the Rhino Pro. So once we have done that, we are going to take the base of the Rhino Pro and put it on the left or right side of the Rhino Pro monster stand with the double head bracket. Now once we have put the base of the Rhino Pro on top of the double head bracket, either on the left or the right side, we are going to find the holes that line up and we are going to put two or three screws in to those holes that line up. Now we usually get questions of why we don't need a nut with that screw, and the answer for that is because the bracket on the left side and the right side is already threaded. Now while you're screwing these 10 millimeter screws in, we would recommend you using a 10 millimeter ratchet, but for the tutorial sake, we're just going to be doing finger tight. Now once we have one of the bases of the Rhino Pro attached to the left or right side, we are going to take the other Rhino Pro base and attach it to the opposite side that we just attached the other base to. Now once each Rhino Pro base is attached firmly to the bracket, we are going to slide the body in the globe back over the center pole. Once you have both bodies on, you're going to want to put the coin drawers back in, lock them, and put the lids and locks back on top. This is absolutely hands down the easiest way to put two machines onto a double-headed bracket that I know of, and I've been doing this for a really, really long time. So guys, I hope this helped. There you go. You now have a double-headed headed Rhino Pro machine on a Rhino monster stand. Hey everybody, you just got done watching the Gumball Machine Warehouse video. Please make sure to give us a big old thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about our products and some cool things that we have at gumball-machine.com, make sure you hit the subscription button that is right over there. Now, all of the products will be linked in both the description and the top of the comment section. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video.